Three wide receivers that the Browns could sign. This, uh, again, by dogs by nature. Um, the first one, Jacoby Myers. Now, Myers, a lot of people don't think New England's going to let him out of there. 6'2", 200 pounds, uh, 26 years old. You see, 40, 4'6'3". Um, another guy, DJ Chark. Um, he signed with the Lions as a free agent one-year deal. A little bit bigger, a little bit faster. 4'3'4", um, four, four, which kind of surprises me so it's uh, that gives you that fast twitch guy um, didn't have a, a whole lot of production but um, was banged up and then Alan Lazard um, a guy for the Packers you see a four or five guy bigger um, and again kind of a hundred targets this year because uh, Devontae Adams left six touchdowns 45 uh, first downs didn't really become the guy that um, the Packers hoped would, you know, he would kind of take over that role for Devontae Adams. Did okay, but, you know, did not become elite. Any of those guys interest you? I mean, Chark has the skill set that interests me the most. Um, does any, do any of those names kind of light things up for you? I'm with you on DJ Chark. You know, I mean, he's obviously an athletic specimen as far as a receiver goes, and I think that's something the Browns have kind of missed at the position of receiver, even looking at his numbers right now, two seasons, three seasons, excuse me, of his career, he's had a reception of at least 50 yards, including a career long of 73 yards. That's all the way back in 2020. Uh, plenty of production in Jacksonville. He's got a full bowl to his name. The only thing that's going to be a hindrance with him is where are you going to find the room to pay him? Because I think, you know, I've talked about this before that I'm fascinated with how, you know, the value of the receiver position is evolving. You know, especially last season, we saw so many guys get massive contracts. You have to imagine DJ Chark could get big money. Maybe it's something the Browns can't afford, especially if you have to consider a Donovan Peoples-Jones extension, especially with the money being paid to Amari Cooper, unless you were willing to move on from him for whatever reason. And that would really be the only way I would consider if I'm the Browns, you know, taking on DJ Chark unless you were willing to come at a better a better price point. I think that would kind of be the, the, the really the only hindrance because talent wise, it's pretty much what the Browns are missing. They're missing that guy who can take the top off of defense, can make safeties, have to play back and respect the pass a little more. And, but again, comes down to money. You can't pay everybody. And, you know, when the, the quarterback that, you know, pre restructures got a salary cap hit of about $54 million, obviously that could certainly come down with a restructure but at the same time, you you have to, you, like I said, you can't pay everybody. There is a salary cap, so you have to be very judicious with who you give that space to.